Good afternoon, um, and thanks so much for being here. I'm Shelley Trigg, that's spelled T-R-I-G-G, -G, and I'm the Manager of Communications and Customer Service with the Calgary Parking Authority. And this is the second year that we have uh, held the Child Safety Awareness Campaign, uh, and we're very, very grateful for our partners, the uh, Calgary Police Service, uh, Calgary Fire Department and Emergency Medical Services uh, to help us get the message out to remind motorists of the importance of never leaving a child unattended in a parked vehicle during the summer. And I wanted to thank you as well for helping us get this message out. And now I'd like to introduce Naomi Nania from Emergency Medical Services. Thank you. My name is Naomi Nania, N-A-N-I-A. I am a public education officer with EMS. Uh, from a safety and security standpoint, there is simply no circumstance where a child should be left unattended inside a vehicle. Um, on a day uh, like 20 to 25 degrees, the temperature can actually raise um, 10 to 15 degrees within minutes. Um, children just cannot cope. Uh, and, to and tolerate heat the way that adults can. Um, and a lot of the times children cannot get out of the vehicle on their own. Um, when uh, t the heat outside, which will be in the next couple days, um, up to 30 degrees, inside the vehicle it could go up to 50 degrees. And again, this is within minutes. Um, so there are some prevention tips that we are asking people to do. Um, always check the front and back seats of the car before you lock it and leave it. See if a child or infant is alone in a vehicle, and if you do see that, to call 911 immediately so that they can be extricated. Uh, put your purse, briefcase, or something else um, that you need in the car, and put it by a car seat so you don't forget, and so you check it before you leave your car. And always lock your car when it's empty so children can get in and out, um, or so they do not uh, get in and out of the vehicle. Um, again, temperatures can rise within minutes, and so we're asking people to just never leave a child unattended. Um, so I'm going to introduce Sergeant Bowers. She is the ch uh, Child at Risk Response Team Sergeant. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sergeant Colleen Bowers, spelled B-O-W-E-R-S. I'm the Sergeant of the Child at Risk Resto Response Team. Uh, that's uh, a unit that is a collabor collaboration between Child and Family Services and the Calgary Police to jointly investigate uh, children at risk. Uh, what I want to emphasize today is that children should never under any circumstances be left alone in a car or any kind of vehicle. As we're getting into warmer months, we are seeing some pretty extreme temperatures. We have had a heat advisory last weekend and it's especially important that we be vigilant about this right now. Um, vehicles heat up rapidly, which can leave children in distress or even in life-threatening condition. There are also safety concerns that must be factored in when leaving a child unattended, including theft of the vehicle with the child still in the vehicle. Unfortunately, we are seeing this happening in Calgary. Parents that leave children in the vehicle with the best intentions, thinking they will be back in a few minutes. However, um, what might start out as a five minutes errand can turn into something 15 to 20 to 30 minutes long. Uh, there were a few incidents last month which required emergency response. We are hopeful that this, this does not continue to happen and that is exactly why we are here today. Although parents or, or caregivers may not believe they are endangering their child's life, leaving a child in the car is dangerous. As Naomi, or Naomi had mentioned, uh, cars heat up exponentially and because it's more difficult for children to regulate their temperatures and because they often cannot free themselves from the vehicles, this can be a matter of life and death. Um, that's why we want to get kids out of the vehicle as soon as possible. If anyone sees a child in a vehicle um, without a, a, an adult in attendance, please call 911 right away. Uh, and it is never too soon to call. Um, please do not wait 10 to 15 minutes hoping that the, um, the adult of the vehicle will return. Uh, please call 911 right away and stay at the vehicle until EMS or fire or police can attend to assist. Um, this can absolutely make the difference in life or death of a child. Uh, so again, we urge Calgarians not to leave children alone in any vehicles under any circumstances, and particularly during the warm months. And if you see a child in a hot car, please call 911 immediately. I'm going to open up the floor to any questions for any of us. What kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, what kind of charges could be laid um, if a child is found in the car uh, towards that caregiver or parent? And uh, in the instances you just mentioned, 
Have there been any charges laid uh, against those individuals? Okay. The, char the Child, Youth and Family Enhancement Act, we can lay a charge under Section 130 and it's leaving, uh, causing a child to be in distress. The penalty can be upwards to $25,000 fine or 24 months in jail. Uh, the last two instances are currently still being invest investigated. Uh, there are times where we will take a more of an educational um, approach with the parents uh, and that can be just as effective. So, I wonder if you can specify for, for me a few things. Is it illegal to leave your kids in the car? It's not illegal per se. If they get into a situation where they are in distress and require aid, that's where that charge will come into effect. Is there an age threshold or a time threshold? The time threshold, no. It depends on the temperature. Um, I would suggest leaving a child any time in a car is risky. Like I mentioned before, um, if a child's at an age where they can't open a car um, or they crawl around in a car, um, a, an older child that could do that could go into medical distress and not know it and then they can't get out of the vehicle. Um, I've seen instances where children are in the back of the car winter and summer and people have left the vehicles running and the car has been stolen. Uh, which is extremely stressful for everyone involved and very high risk as you can appreciate for the child. So, When it comes to a hot day, you kind of just touched on it, but when it comes to a hot day, can a parent leave the kids in a car with the AC on? I wouldn't recommend it because again there's too many dangers when we're looking at potentially someone breaking into that car and stealing the vehicle with the child in there. Also again there's dangers that I've attended a, um, a call where a child was able to get out of their child's seat stepped on a window and got caught up in the window. Uh, what about uh, say the parent was going into the store and they could still see the car from, from the counter or the store or wherever? Again I still wouldn't recommend that because a five minute errand turns into 20 and you just don't know what's going to happen. Is it frustrating to say to parents maybe leave something by a car seat so you don't forget your child? Is it frustrating? Yes. It, it, yeah, I mean, it is a little bit discouraging that we have to continue to send out this message. But if that's what we have to do to remind people, people don't have the intentions most of the time to put their child in, in, at any kind of risk. They mean well. They run in quickly and then 15 and 20 minutes go by and they don't realize it. It's just kind of a reminder of just to keep in the back of your mind, even if you think it's five minutes, it's just too long. There's just too many risks. Uh, I'm afraid I don't actually have the statistics for that. We already have, I believe, um, Calgary Police are aware of about a three at this stage. Um, so I'm, I can't really give you a firm answer to that one, I'm afraid. Do you have statistics year on year? Have they been increasing? No, we don't. It's the way our systems are set up, it's not a statistic we can easily keep. Um, I would like to try, but because there's different units responding, there can be CFD, EMS, CPS. It's difficult for us all to keep the statistics and keep it consistent for, for the media and the public to be aware of. So. Can you just elaborate on that education portion that you, mm -hmm. were, that you were speaking of earlier? I mean, is that as far as a warning or is that like you need to go figure out how to parent a little bit? <laughs> uh, it's, the way we, we approach these situations is we, it's, it's case by case. So we'll talk to the parent, find out what's happened, talk to the witnesses, and we will uh, contact Child and Family Services to make sure that they're aware of the situation. We'll do a full investigation to see if there's been this incident before, if you know what the background is with Child and Family Services. And if we believe that just talking to them and having a conversation with them and that they are getting our message, then it'll just be a conversation and then a report on the system for them. For somebody who sees maybe a child in severe distress, break the window, I would 911. I wouldn't recommend breaking the window. Stay on the phone. Follow the direction of the 911 operator. And please stay near the vehicle and on the phone so that if it's in a large parking lot, you can appreciate how difficult it would be to find. And just staying on there until some emergency services can arrive. Just to clarify, there's no specific age where you can legally leave your children in the car? Well, like I say, I, it's not illegal per se to to leave a child in the car. We just um, it's it's just really not good practice to leave the child in the car. It puts them in too many too many risk factors. We consider a child anyone under 18. 
a 17 year old sitting in the car because they want to stay in the car texting um, they're capable of getting out if they need a child in a car seat or a child under 10 or 12 or 15 even may not have that ability and, and the parent needs to just take that into to consideration.